Hi guys. Hi. Welcome to Dreams. This is our new lighting source. My name is Dree. And I am M. Mm. And together we are Mdra. Mm Correct. We are Mdra. Mm uh, our name is uh, Techie Farm Boy. Uh, actually, my name is his name is Zion. Go subscribe to him. And today, today we're gonna be re we're gonna be talking about our dreams and reviewing them on a scale of weird to holy heck. That's a lot of heck. That's hecking heck heck. My dreams are better than yours. End of video. <laughs> Play a Techie Farm Boy outro. <laughs> At this point, I don't even have an outro anymore. I've gone through like so many intros and outros that it's hard to remember any of them. How can I hang this up to a point where it doesn't look like it's about to fall? Uh, it's, it's supposed fine. to look like that, and now it looks like that. Yeah. Oh god. It's fine. It's Something fine. broke. Okay, so let's talk about my dream first. Okay, so this this is like a recurring dream. Um, a car. That has like a third person view. Play outro. <laughs> and I have to race against others to get onto a sinking boat full of orphans. Why orphans specifically? <laughs> and join them, not save them. <laughs> and then I turn into a person. And then join! Get, and then get the thing called the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Uh, don't question it. Um, and then uh, there's, like, clothes all over the TARDIS. And, like, I have to take them all off before I can save the orphans, which is, wh which the objective has changed, by the way, from becoming an orphan to saving the orphan. <laughs> no. And, and then I, so, like, I get... I get the TARDIS, and then an evil person comes up to me and says, I killed the orphans, and I... <laughs> it's confusing. It's confusing, to say the least. Dreams. And then I wake up. Dreams. Dream rating. Uh, orphan out of six. <laughs> I give it a... Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, orphan out of six. Okay, my turn. So, this this one dream I have, it's it's very short. And so I I I see like a rift from Fortnite and I'm like, what would happen if I walk into it? So I like roll to it. <laughs> and then uh so then I, I get rifted into Shrek Swamp, but instead of falling down, I come from the middle of the earth at a godlike speed <laughs> up to the surface. <laughs> and uh and then Shrek is like waiting for me and like Keep on spinning. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you finally made it. Let me show you around the swamp. And the like a choir of like gang the gangsters paradise intro is in the background, like halfway through the tour when he's showing me the outhouse. <laughs> it switches on the gangsters paradise intro played by the choir and donkey to <laughs> the gangsters paradise intro. <laughs> and then Shrek pulls down a crossbow from Minecraft and shoots Donkey and just screams, shut up. <laughs> and then Shrek's like, you need to go home, you've seen too much. And then, he, and then he chucks me across, like, the universe. And I land in my house. <laughs> and that's the end of the dream. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> I give it a Shrek out of Shrek. Thank you. I give it a Shrek so far now for Shrek. Thanks. You again. Okay, so this one time I had a dream. Uh, I was under, like, heavy anesthetics uh, to the point where I was so... I was uh, at a dentist's office. Uh... So this part includes both waking up and being asleep, because it's both funny at the same time. You wake up and die. Now, I'm not sure if this is exactly a dream or not, uh, but I go to sleep from the anesthetics. Uh, my dreams are weirder than normal uh, under the effects. So I become a conveyor belt, a sentient conveyor belt, 
and just a river of non-sentient conveyor belts. And it just oh, tastes you, like that for moving? what felt like an... Yes, are, I'm, are, I'm and, moving. It's just like a pinkish, like, purplish, like... Are the conveyor belts that you're conveying boy. moving? Yes. So it's like double the speed. No. No, we're all strung together, and there's multiple other conveyor belts. Oh. So, uh, I wake up after what felt like an hour. I look at my mom, I... I'm... I'm not sure if this was part of the dream or not, because I've had experiences where I think I've woken up from the dream and it isn't. I haven't. I wake up. I think my mom is fat, and <laughs> under the anesthetics of the of the thing, it makes me say aloud what my thoughts are, meaning I call my mom fat. I go back to sleep to the conveyor thing. I wake up, and then I'm pretty sure I punched the dentist <laughs> and then went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the future is now, old man! <laughs> Imagine just working on this one kid. And then he just... <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and explained my dreams to mom, and uh, it was confuzzling. I still remember the conveyor belt dream to this day. I really want to experience it again, but unfortunately, humanity has not invented a dream library yet. Okay, so my turn again. Okay, so this one time I was also at the dentist under heavy anesthetic because my ADHD second grade body was like spinning and uh so basically uh i i i was having a dream where i was just in class and suddenly everything around me just disappeared and i was sitting in nothingness and then like out of nowhere spongebob just grows and is like you need to wake up now and like i i like guess i like opened my eyes or something because everything was like super zoomed out <laughs> Like, 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 uh, basically, that's what it was like, basically, basically, like, this is what it was like, all that nothingness, if I can get my fingers to work, all that nothingness was, like, like, black, and then the middle was, like, what I could see, except imagine it ten times smaller in the second grader size, and so, like, the dentist were like, can you open your mouth, and I'm like, what, I've lost all feeling of my body, and I can't understand you. And she's like, open your mouth, please. And I open my mouth. I also feel like I'm at a very big, like, downward angle. Like this. Like, that steep. I feel like I'm going to fall into an incinerator. Because I looked like like that at, like, this supposed big downward angle. And I'm like, wait, that's a bright orange ball. What is that? I don't want to go to that. So, like, I, I guess, like, my mouth, like, jaw, like, my jaw, like, dropped open. And then she's like, thank you. And then go back to sleep. <laughs> and then, like, the procedure's done. I get my teeth removed. And so, like, the effects of the anesthesia on me, I'm going to continue past the dream because this is, like, freaking hilarious. But, like, the, the effects after, like, the effects of the anesthesia, because they put so much on my second grader body, I could not walk or speak or even, like, see for that matter. Everything was very blurry. blurry. My speech was very slurred, and I could not walk for the life of me. So, my dad has, like, carried me out, and according to my parents, I'm screaming at the top of my second grader lungs, put me down, put me down. <laughs> so, imagine, like, the kids in the waiting lobby, the parents are like, it's not that bad. <laughs> and then you hear, like, a second grader who can't speak, see, or walk with his dad <laughs> carrying him, like, like, just, put me down! <laughs> Except it sounded more like, let me down! <laughs> Probably traumatize some kids. It also probably concern some parents. But all, so according to like about the time when I got back to the car, I got in the car, vomited, passed <laughs> out. I don't know if they put me on alcohol or anesthetics or what. But like I got home, I'm on the couch, I wake up, and my dad's like, "You want to watch something on the TV?" And I'm like, "No." Nah. <laughs> so like I watch TV for like five minutes, not get knocked out. I wake up, I can see and talk, 
I still can't walk. So imagine my surprise when two of my senses are back. I think the third one's return. I get up from the couch and face plant into the table in front of me. <laughs> it sounded about like this. I need to move the keyboard. It sounded about like this. <laughs> and my dad was like, are you okay? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't feel anything. My senses are gone. That's my story. I think that's uh, all, we, all the time we have here. Uh, we're probably going to keep like a dream journal, so every time he comes over, we'll share our dreams with the world. What do you rate that dream? I rated a put me down <laughs> out of put me, <laughs> put me up. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, see you. Ah! Skip it up and down.